Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. We're going to review the Droid Razor M. This has been out a couple weeks and is a pretty reasonable phone at $99 with a two year contract. It's kind of the baby brother to the larger Razer HD and HD Max, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have similar features. It has a 4.3 inch display with 540 by 960 pixels, 256 pixels per inch, and it's a super AMOLED advanced display. Capacitive multi-touch, of course, and the display is pretty responsive overall. The design of the phone is really nice. It's got Gorilla Glass on the front, and it feels nice in the hand that its size has some screws on the side we have our micro usb and then we have a little door here that could be flimsy and break if you use it a lot where we have expandable memory up to 32 gig micro sd and then we have the sim card as well internally we don't have a lot of storage we have 4.5 gigs of storage and that will do but you'll probably want to expand that at some point on the back we have an 8 megapixel camera with flash speaker kevlar back the phone also has a nano coating inside, as all the razors do, that are supposed to repel water. Something like Liquipel or one of those solutions is, a, is what I would assume they're doing, but no one's really tested it that I know of. On this side, again, we have three screws. We have volume up and down, sleep-awake power button. On the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the bottom, we have a microphone. It's a pretty nice phone, and it also has a forward-facing camera that's just 0.3 megapixels. The display, like I said, is very responsive. It has this newer interface from Motorola. If we slide to the right, you'll see we have quick settings that are just right there. And then we have other screens as well. Everything feels fluid and fast, and it has a pretty fast processor in it as well. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus at 1.5 gigahertz dual core. It also has an Adreno 225 GPU with a gig of RAM. So it's pretty fast overall and seems to handle just about any task you throw at it. The battery inside is really nice. It's a 2000 milliamp hour battery that's supposedly good for 20 hours talk time and many more standby time. I find that it easily gets through a day. However, if you play games, something like that, you're going to find that that's going to reduce the time as well. You can see you can move this new widget around and it's pretty neat that it has uh, a little clock on one side, an analog clock, and a digital on the other. Same with the weather, we can add different places. Then we have quick settings to the batteries here. And the phone, I have to say, really impresses me as far as overall quality. It just feels really solid, really well built, has Gorilla Glass on the front, and just doesn't feel like you're going to break it even if you don't use a case with it. I don't know about scratch resistance, but I would assume that it would hold up pretty well uh, over time just because it has a different type of Kevlar back and the Gorilla Glass on front. The camera itself is pretty nice. Uh, it takes decent pictures and it's probably good for most casual users, but it comes with a strange default of widescreen, which actually is six megapixel and not eight megapixels. So it doesn't utilize the whole thing unless you go in and change the setting, at least on the one I received here for review. It's six megapixels, you uncheck that, and then you get eight megapixels. It's just not widescreen. Then it takes much better pictures. It also has 1080p video recording, of which it does a pretty decent job. I've seen better in things like the Galaxy S3, iPhone 5, but most people, I think, will be pretty pleased with your average use with it. Low light isn't fantastic, but uh, it's a decent camera. It's not a fantastic camera. Overall, the phone is really nice, especially for the $99 price tag with the two-year contract. In your area, you may be able to get it a little bit cheaper, and you may want to look around, wait for Christmas deals, things like that in your area. But the phone itself, really great for that price. Although, if you wanted a larger screen, you could check out the Razer HD and HD Max. They have a higher pixel density and larger screen as well. So, either phone is really nice. I don't think you'll be disappointed with its speed or its quality. I definitely recommend checking it out. If you have any questions or comments, please place those below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.